There's boxes and uh, I got a wife that's... Preggers. Preggers. Mama's tired. Mama's tired right now, taking a break. Mama's tired. <laughs> oh, we still got that mirror up. We got a tag team that one, babe. That's a tag teamer. That one might have to wait until tomorrow. I think so. You know what's going on right now. It's the journey. It's the journey of life. We've built life inside of that belly over there. And we just sold our house. And now it's time to move. We are packing. We're packing everything up. It's going to take a couple days. There's no room at the inn. Mary's over There's here. no room at the inn. It's Mary and Joseph on a journey to a house we don't have yet. Winston would have been our trusty donkey. Yeah, Winston would have been our donkey. If you guys don't know, we're referring to the uh, biblical uh, reenactment. Not saying we have Jesus on the way at all. Just saying. We got a lot of stuff going on. You want to take a look at my office right now? It's real sad. Pretty much everything is off the walls. All the great fishing goodies, uh, all the cool stuff is kind of just going away. I got a bunch of rods in there breaking apart my desk. Oh, Billy! That's my dad's biggest bass ever right there. He's, uh, he's off the wall. He's just chilling. Trophies, antlers, you know, fish. And this is the real sad part for you guys. The tackle cave. The tackle cave is currently being disassembled. It's in array. The good news is for you guys that the box of uh, lures that we're going to do a giveaway on or at a meetup or something like that, some sort of big lure situation, that is building. That is, that's building quite a bit. A lot of stuff going on in there. And then the wall is basically just looking sad. I'm about to just take a bin. I'm going to take down the rest of the baits off of here. Pretty much took everything off the rack over there. And uh, we still got the old attic upstairs with a bunch more outdoor stuff. And I got all these plastics over here. Plastics. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you guys, moving is just a pain. There's, it's one of the top, I think I heard it the other day, it's like the top two or three things, the most stressful things in life is doing that. And we're pregnant. I like how you say we're pregnant. <laughs> we're pregnant. We're pregnant together. I'm not, I already did my job. I know. I, I just want you though. to know that I'm here. I love how you include in yourself in it. Supportive way. It's great. I'm not saying that to be mean. I really do like that. Good. We are. <laughs> let's check in with your uh, your office. My office is sad. We got the old milk girl outfit right there. Professional milk girl. Uh, that's got to come down. <sighs> Even my little lamp, guys. I built this little lamp. Look at it. Such a cute little antler lamp. I did this. I looked this up on YouTube one day. I was like, man, I got these antlers laying around. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a lamp. And I did. All I did was take some epoxy, drill some holes in the antlers, and it came out pretty cool. It's a rustic looking lamp. You can do that too. You got some antlers laying around. Thought you guys might wanna know what's going on here in our lives. I'd also like to address something right now um, to you amazing fishing freaks that wanted the uh, favorite big sexy LFG edition rods. Uh, you guys bought them in like less than 24 hours. They were, they were gone, so I apologize for them being out of stock right now. There's another batch coming in, should be here within like 30 days. You guys just ate them up and uh, they're incredible rods. I know you guys are gonna be happy with them, but didn't quite anticipate you'd go that hard. So anyway, we got more coming for you and uh, don't be mad at me. Tell me what's going on. Tell everyone at home what's going on. Well, you're bringing me boxes from up in the attic. You give me this empty one and I happen to look inside of it. It's not empty. <laughs> Just come look in there. <laughs> Just saying, um, do you have anything to like swat? I think it might be dead, but I'm not 100% sure. Where? To swat, I'm using my hat. Oh God, yep, there it is. Is it alive? I don't know. It's definitely in there though. That is 100% a bat. That's a bat. I don't know if it's dead. I don't know if they live alone. Probably not. I don't think they do. How did they get in there? I, I don't There's know. There's gotta be more. Babe, I don't know. I'm gonna give it a hard kick. It's either hibernating or... Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that is 
there's a Texas girl right there. She's got her. She's got her hood up. You know. Bat cannot touch the pregnant lady. She brought up a good point. She's pregnant, so we don't want bats. Bats getting around, biting her. Oh my god! I'm just kidding. It's dead. It's actually like, it's like glued. It's been, it's been dead a while, apparently. Woo! That's disgusting. Alrighty! Hey! Hey! hey. You never know what you're gonna find when you move. And my heart. That was a dance. Next day, here we are, still trucking. Time to take down the big stuff. Running into a problem. We don't have uh, we don't have any food here, hardly. Do we have any food, honey? We have a, we have a few eggs in here. Uh, didn't know what this was, and I flipped it over, and I was like, holy crap! It's free range. This is a sample pack. On these sample packs, if you guys want to try like all the. Uh, different kinds of coffee or you're not sure what kind of coffee you might like because these are like more premium coffee Some of them have more robust flavors that some people may not like some people really like just depends on who you are What your taste buds are they're 25 bucks free shipping So that's why they didn't last long at all last time and they come in whole bean and ground We still got our coffee maker over there So I'm gonna get to making some right now when you get in your house and you start breaking stuff down you're like wow I've got a lot more crap than I actually realized. So that's where we're at right now. Gotta get this day going. Gotta wake up. Look at that. Look at that speed goat right there. Speed goat with the sun, baby. Get you going in the morning. This seems to be the favorite for like the general taste bud. If you're just, you know, like your average coffee drinker. And then it's just kind of whatever your taste buds are from here. My personal favorite, mm, I don't even know. I really like early morning bite, but it's really strong, bitter, acidic. Oh my gosh! I just forgot. Um, can, you can't have any coffee at all, huh? See, Stephanie really craves coffee, but while she's pregnant, she's not supposed to have very much. You know, I'm gonna break out the, the Freedom Roast because it's more friendly on her taste buds. I like it too, but I mean, me personally, I like stronger taste. This isn't a cooking show. We're here to get some coffee made and get this thing going. But if you guys want to pick this up, I'll put a link in the description. Let bald eagle soar through your veins and blaze your own trail. Here at Free Range. Like that? Woo! Yeah! It gets me fired up. Do you just curse on camera? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking in my head, it just came out. <laughs> it just came out. My sweet, my sweet little angel here is making some. Are you making some tea additionally? Or is this for oatmeal? This is for your oatmeal. Oh, thank you, babe. See, we only had two eggs left, and I gave them to her because she's been growing a, a little uh, a little fishing freak, and uh, oh, I'm going to eat that pack of oatmeal, and then we're going <laughs> to drink this, except, dadgummit, we already packed up our cups. We didn't think about that. We got wine glasses. You could drink some coffee out of some wine. That's classy. Put the blue cup down here. Give it a whirl, can't do it at the same time. You want me to help you? That's what marriage is for. Look oh, at that teamwork. Oh, huh? Oh, was it not close enough? There you go. It's time to get back to cracking at it. It's coming down to the wire, folks. Look at this. Pretty much my entire entire life collection. Most of it's OSGs, probably about 80%. Your honest feedback on moving right now. It really does suck. I never would have thought that we have that much stuff. Like in my mind, I was like, no, oh, it's not so bad. We just have the kitchen, the closet, and then the garage. Wow. Nothing like married life, like moving on Valentine's hey, hey, Day. Hey. Yeah, it's Valentine's Day, y'all. <laughs> You want to test your relationship strength? Try moving your entire house on Valentine's Day. Mmm. Mmm. I love you. Mm. <laughs> this is the point where you just want to, any extra items, gone. Start a fire, gone. Because we are at the very tip. The very tip. And we only have just a little bit of room. It's at the crunch. We've been playing Tetris all day. Now I gotta drive this thing. I gotta drive this thing all the way up to Dallas. Okay. To the home that we don't even have. We're putting it in a storage <laughs> unit. And then we're gonna have to move it again! <laughs> so. To a home that we don't even hey, have. Hey, you guys want some drones? 
that's where we're at right now. That's where you're at right now. <laughs> Just have one. We went full blown parrot right there. I'm gonna go this way. It's easier. Well, Think so. Me. Yeah. I'm driving a Mondo rig right now. Holy cow, look at the mirrors on this sham gun. Holy cow, tensions were high. Rolled out high and tight, loaded down, ready to rumble. Yeah, that sounded good. It sounded like a good, you know, trucker movie. Man, oh man, going through the big D right now. This has been one of the most stressful drives of my life. Game face, game face. Got the sun setting into my glare right now. Can't hardly see around this thing, but dodging big potholes, trying to keep up with the OSG. My phone died, rattled. It's in the bottom of the truck somewhere. This thing's just bouncing around. It's just been one of those uh, one of those deals. Just got to keep that game face on. We still got to unload all this stuff, so you got to find that extra gear and get through the day. Wow! Oh. I hiccuped right there. It's ex like like exciting hiccups. LFDs here. For That's support. right. Here to move. Oh, we finally made it. We finally made it. First thing when I pull up, Fishing Freak. Fishing Freak working here, helping us out. Oh, can't remember his name, but very nice gentleman. We've been going hard all day. We've been going hard for many days. Since we don't have a house, now we have to unload here in a storage unit. Uh, and our stuff will remain here for a long time. Gotta make sure I get out all the very important fishing items that I might need. Uh, and all the other stuff, like the house stuff, really boring stuff, just stay here. But I think it is time to sign this one out. So this is what we're doing on Valentine's Day, just so you guys know. Uh, but we're just trying to get life ready for, for a baby and, and get a new home and just kind of get this new beginning. New 2017 kind of sucked. So 2018, I think is gonna be awesome. These are just little, little things we gotta do until we get settled in and then we can go hard. I'm ready to go hard. Um, fishing, outdoors, vlogging, everything for you guys. So thank you for coming along for today. OSG somewhere, I'd have her sign off with you, uh, but she's taking care of business in there. And uh, thank you guys for all the support. I need a big boost of encouragement right now in the comments. Subscribe to the channel for all the other crazy action to follow. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.